understand our frustration because obviously as employees of the organisation themselves they are affected by it but particularly in relation to providing good patient care it's important that we pay people appropriately. People can't afford to subsidise this service any longer. We've historically done that but we now feel it's time to stand up and be counted. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on the NHS front line and, uh, and I think we all need to acknowledge uh, just how tough it is out there uh, in A&E departments, in hospitals, in GP surgeries, in the ambulance service and so on. Um, we are giving a 1% pay rise to everyone um, but around 55% of NHS staff get an automatic 3% pay rise through their increments. And what we're saying is we can't afford to give a 1% pay rise on top of the 3%. We did that. Hospitals next year would lay off around 4,000 nurses and around 10,000 nurses the year after that.